Um, well, the book is called Sword of the Spirit, Shield of Faith, Religion in American War and Diplomacy, and it looks at the relationship between American religion, and it looks at the influence American religion has had on the history of U.S. foreign policy from the colonial era uh, right up to the present. And I see this relationship as one that's very deep and very profound, and that at key moments in American history has had a, um, an important, perhaps not a decisive, but a very important role in shaping uh, the direction of U.S. foreign policy. Religion played a huge role in America's Cold War foreign policy, and it played a large role in the Soviet Union's foreign policy to a very different extent, to, you know, on the opposite side of the coin. American leaders um, used religion in a kind of instrumentalist way to explain their foreign policy, to justify it, to win adherence to American foreign policy or America's way of life. But as far as I could determine, and it's almost impossible to determine these things uh, with any certainty, 100%. But as far as I can tell, American leaders, for the most part, believed in what they were saying. They believed in this message, certainly in the early Cold War, in the Truman and Eisenhower administrations. From Kennedy to Carter, in the era of high modernism and secularization, um, American leaders tried to keep religion at arm's length. Even very religious people, like Jimmy Carter, has probably been you know, personally one of the most religious presidents in American history, tried to keep religion at arm's length. And I think that's a mistake, and I think that's a lesson for um, American foreign policy leaders then, and, as, and it certainly is for American foreign policy leaders in the future, that in a world that is becoming increasingly religious itself, especially in the regions of the world that have the most strategic um, importance for the United States, in the Middle East, in Asia, in Africa, um, you can't keep religion at arm's length. Even if you don't think it should play a role in foreign policy, that it will. And this is a lesson from the Cold War where uh, trying to keep religion at arm's length made American leaders uh, or led American leaders to underestimate the influence of political Buddhism in Southeast Asia, which undermined U.S. policy in Vietnam, and it led them to underestimate the rise of political Islam in the Middle East, um, and it, it, it led them to underestimate um, the Shiite revolutionaries in Iran, uh, and, and, and they were, U.S. leaders were completely caught by surprise. So in a, in a world that since 1979 keeps getting more religious, um, trying to keep religion at arm's length, uh, is a, I would say, is a real mistake. No matter what an individual U.S. foreign policy maker's personally, personal religious views are, religion has to be taken into an account, and I think that's a clear lesson from the Cold War.